good. No, but you do no, have I, audio. I could have said, are we hot? No, no, you, <laughs> do you, no we can't do that. Oh, okay. That's another straight line. No, Wait, no, we can't do that? No. Nah. Uh, you know, this might just well be the opening right here. Wait, let's go. Who, who has to do it? for what? For this interview. Oh, oh, okay. who, who needs to do a three count? You know, the old standard, you know, yeah. three, two. Nah. Yeah. We're just, we're just going at it, right? Uh, right. Yes, absolutely. Well, okay, we're joining me right here is... Lana Wood. Oh, she introduced herself. Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> She's not shy, that's for sure. No, I'm terribly, horribly, horribly shy. Now, we're, as a kid, no, when, I, you were, what? Well, when you were real little, when I was a really child, little. with your sister, not yes. to, were you shy back then? No, I was um, actually, something I found interesting that just dawned on me not too long ago is uh, I was correcting everyone's English even back then. I still here. do it and make everybody angry, yes. Ooh, should we do that today? Have no. you gone around and... No. 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 no, no, it's okay. It's Lana Wood. Uh, I was playing Tio Tool in, in in Diamonds Are Forever, and uh, uh, the first the first film I ever did was um, The Searchers with John Wayne. Eat your heart out. Oh boy. Now, <laughs> so you 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 went from western to uh, you know the biggest uh, spy type thing well, there is. There were a lot of things in between yeah. that. Yeah, there was yeah, yeah the stepping stones. Yes, absolutely. Now, I I don't want to go down areas where you've already answered probably a billion times, but really, was it your sister that encouraged you to do this? Was it because my sister's doing this that I want to do this? Or was it like, you know, I really like this and this is something I want to do? Um, oddly enough, when you are eight years old, you do as you're told. Mm. <laughs> so I was told to learn this line, say, stand here, do this, do that, which I, I did. I worked a great deal as a kid, worked with great, I had great dads. I had Jack Lemon was my dad, Walter Hest uh, Houston was, Charles, Heston was, I want to go that's home okay, now, that's okay. was my dad. I'm getting very tired. Um, I told you I needed coffee. Anyway, um, I worked with some great people, but then I got to be about 13, 14 years old. Did you get difficult then? I didn't want to work. Ooh. I wanted to stay in school. I was tired of being, oh yeah, you know, she does this and she's not having any friends. I wanted to go to football games. I wanted to sneak cigarettes in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> I wanted to have a boyfriend. I wanted to do all those things that I wasn't able to do, so I ran away from home. You, you whoa! You ran away from home? Yeah. How long were you out on the uh, on the run? Out on the run uh, until I hit the first call box. I called my sister Natalie, and she said, "Stay right there. Come pick you up." And um, I stayed with her for a month or so, whoa. and she got my mom to calm down and say that she would not do anything to try to get me work anymore. I didn't have to go into work anymore. I could finish school, which I did, and I then took a job selling upscale ladies' clothing at a very really? chic place in Beverly Hills. And one day, shortly after I started, in walked my friend Neil McQueen, who is Steve McQueen's wife. And Neely goes, what are you doing? I said, what do you think I'm doing? I'm selling clothing. And she said, no, no, no. She said, listen, Arthur Penn is looking for a little girl who looks 14, she's got to be over 18, to be Walter Matthau's daughter in this TV show. Whoa. I want you to go out for the interview. And I said, no. And she said, no, I want you to go. And she made a whole fuss, and she made me an appointment. So I went. I got the part. I went to work. My first day walking off the stage to my car, I said, yes, this is what I really love. Spark, and so from exactly. that point, well, I just wanted to make sure it was what I wanted, not what everybody else wanted. Because gotcha. I didn't want to compete. I'm not good at that. I don't like it. Um, I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. Mm. And I did want to do that, but it took me a while. Wow. Yeah. I got to ask this question because I've seen it written. I've seen that you've talked about this. Somebody here at the show, like Collecticon, goes, you got to ask her about... Sean Connery. Yes, about your relationship with Sean Connery. So, is it myth or is it true? I can give, I can give you one step further on that non-myth. A fan brought some photos of a young Sean Connery from a film that he did that I'd never heard of. Okay. And he was with a very beautiful dark-haired girl who looked familiar to me and I went, wait a minute. That's Leslie Brickus' wife. She was an actress, and I turned it over, and sure enough, the songwriter, the famous Academy Award-winning right. songwriter, Leslie Brickus, 
Um, now, back, so far that doesn't make sense to you, but hang in there. I'm with you. Um, he was like the love of my life for many, many, many years, Leslie. Um, I did the Bond film and began seeing Sean Connery. On my last day on the set, I said, Sean, I've got to talk to you because I'm a very honest person and I'm very forthright. No, I really am, but I'm rolling my eyes because it's so stupid. Anyway, <laughs> shut up. Um, pulled him aside and I said, you know, I, I adore you. I think you're wonderful, but I'm in love and in this very, you know, serious relationship with Leslie Brickus and um, I won't be seeing you again after I leave and he said I understand and was kind of uncomfortable and he walked away and I walked away now fast forward okay to today okay that was Leslie Brickus's wife he was working with back then Leslie is the one who introduced me to Sean. I had no idea that he had known him Whoa. for such a long time and that they were obviously friends, which makes me feel even more stupid, even more. Wait, the first stupid is, why did I think Sean Connery would give a you-know-what if I wasn't going to see him anymore? Seriously, Whoa. I thought about that years later. I went, I had to tell him? Why did I think he'd care? Yeah, okay, okay. Lana, that swell. See you around. I mean, what an idiot. Was I just totally stupid? Am I living in like an alternate reality somehow? I don't know. But this just made it worse. So, Leslie, if you ever see this, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sean, I'm not sorry. Myth is true. Myth is true. Myth is true. Myth is. Myth is true. Yes. What? So, how was the fa the family when you uh, came out with uh, that certain magazine in 1970? With, with Playboy? Yeah, with Playboy. How was the family? Fine. Uh, um, my my mom and dad have always said, "Bye, see you later." They they were fine with whatever. Um, Natalie was fine with it, and then at a dinner party at her house. Um, Helen Gurley Brown, I was sitting with her husband David, okay. came up to me and said, you know, Natalie's not really happy about you doing the Playboy. But I didn't know. I didn't know that. She didn't tell me. So then I panicked and a couple of days went by and I called Hugh Hefner and I said, I, you got to pull the photos. I don't want the photos. Whoa. And he said, okay. And then kept me on the phone and kept me on the phone <laughs> and kept me on the phone and finally got to and what else do you like doing and I said I love to write and da, 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 da. and he said okay if we publish your stuff along with the photos will you let me publish them then Whoa. and I said yeah that's really so cool. that's my playboy story I think the photos are beautiful I I they sent their finest photographer, who I absolutely adored, with Mario Casilli. And I think the photos are beautiful. I'm glad I did them. Do you, do you get people bringing that ever to have you sign? Do you ever see that come? Well, I mean, anybody actually bring the magazine, do they? Yes. Okay. I, I, I wasn't talking about you. I meant the I magazine mean, of itself. They okay. Of course they do. Of course they do. Oh, yeah. Cool. No, I have when I'm, when I'm doing family shows, I put these. <laughs> the family photos underneath up. Underneath the oh, table. Oh, or someone is kind enough to come and, and bring me post its, which they place. I said, okay, let, let's go look at the blood and gore at the next table with the decapitation <laughs> and the organs hanging out. But God forbid, don't you dare look at that. Oh, okay. Uh, by the way, this is what we're talking about, if you don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about that That's right a there. beautiful picture. Yes, yes. I still look exactly like that. It's her. It's her. Um, you wrote a book. I did. And, and, and a couple of books, yes. Yeah, well, I'm talking about the biography, yes. uh, autobiography slash biography. Right, yes. right, right. How long did that take? And was it painful, hard to do? Did you stop? Did you start and go, I, what am I doing? I'm getting down an area. I was in production. I was at uh, Universal Studios. I was director of development for TV features. And not having too terrific a time, Natalie had passed mm. away. And um, my agent called me and said, I'd like to have lunch and let's sit and relax and talk. 
which we did. And he said, I was concerned about you, how you're doing, and are you able to continue doing what you're doing without any problems and this and that. And we started talking about Natalie. And he said, you know what, that's a book. And I said, no, it really isn't. I said, we weren't racy enough. We weren't, you know, eh, eh, no, it's really not. And he said, no, I think you're wrong. I think it's a book. He said, do I have your permission to call some people that I know? And I said, yeah, whatever. Okay, thank you for lunch. Goodbye. Right. 24 hours later, I had a telegram in those oh. days. They still use telegrams. Yes. Shh, shh, shh. Keep it under your hat. Shh. That I had ten months from GP Putnam Sons to write this book. And ten I went, months? What? <laughs> what? I had a they gave me a deadline. Whoa. That yeah. Well, you obviously did it. <laughs> yeah. Well, did you want to quit once you started anywhere? Did it was like what have, what have I done? What 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 where am I going here? Mm, no, I was very concerned about how I portrayed other people. Mm. But I wasn't concerned about how I felt or how I portrayed myself, because I have the right to do that. Right, right. So I was concerned about some other, other people. Um, they then said they were going to change names of everyone who wasn't a public figure. I said, fine and dandy. Um, it, no, I, I, if I wrote it today, there would be a different book. Really? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Without question. Okay. Without question. Is there another you book in you? Yes, there is. Uh -oh. Yes, there is. There. Are you going to start it? a couple it? more. I have. Now, are you, do you write by hand or do you use the no. laptop, computer, yeah. whatever? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I didn't know. Some people still... I know, I you know. know. Yeah. I, I can't imagine doing that, but some I do. Well, I didn't. <laughs> typewriter, I was, you know, was going to be insulting. Some actually use the typewriter. For I those know. that don't know what a typewriter is. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's this machine. It's really, I saw one one time. <laughs> yes. Incredible. Now, do you still work with animal rescues and animal uh, yes. works? Yes, I do. Okay, I do. That's one of the things we do with our other show. We have another we show that's. Do. Yes, we do. Good. We have an animal special. We work with uh, animals and things like that. And I know, I knew that you did at one time. I didn't know if you were still active with that. Wow, let me see. Whoa. Very nice. That's a little kitty cat. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I do. That's cool. I do. I uh, and and animals seem to find me. I've I've raised two litters of squirrels. I've got cats. I've got dogs. I oh. find them on the street. They find my house. I've literally stopped on a street and opened my door, and a dog has jumped into my car. I've been in a strip mall where a lady goes, "Is this your dog?" And I say, "No," and she goes, "It is now." It's been running loose here all day. I went, oh, geez. No. So, this, this, yes, you're our, oh, <laughs> Yes, you're our kind of person. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cooper's Hawk, rescued a Cooper's Hawk. Um, picked up a, an owl that had been hit by a car on the side of the road. Um, rabbit once scared me to pieces because it had gotten into a bag of potting soil and I didn't know it was in there and you open the, you stick your hand in it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, but yes, I still work with animals. I always will. And I'll put a link to your website, which Terrific. which we'll, we'll link it here on the video and also on our Good. our other social media. And if you could ask people out there, please send litter. For you or for the animals? For the animals. Oh. Yeah, so. I've, I've broken myself of that okay. habit. Well, okay, that's good. I, you have a scoop. You know, okay. I just, Literally. I'm just <laughs> check. Uh, I'm just checking. Scoop. Oh, boy. Doing. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, boy. You're fun. A couple of puns. But Thank you are fun. You. And she's leaving Lake Collecticon on Saturday and going to the movie set this on Sunday, Saturday. right? Well, yes. What well, time no. we upload this will be Sunday. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, okay, ignore that. <laughs> that's okay. See, I told you I correct people. It's that's really okay. annoying. She's okay. okay. She's, o she's oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're going on the set Sunday? Yes. <laughs> I'm starting a film called Wild Faith for Collective Productions. Are you Faith and in, in, in your wild? Hey, shh. Big mouth, big mouth. Um, <laughs> um, what? Okay. What else? You got it's, a civil, it's a it's post Civil War, oh. and it's about a uh, young soldier who lost his best friend in the Civil War, and he's coming home. He promised he would take care of the man's wife and child, um, and he's bringing them home, and they're they're black. Okay. And this is not sitting well in his mm. little small town. So it's a it's a beautifully written script. Wow. I love the people doing it. I'm very proud to be a part of it. And That's you're filming great. in Michigan, correct? In Michigan, oh. Charlotte. I was told to say it's not Charlotte. Ooh. It's Charlotte. In Charlotte. 
Michigan. So, where, so they say they just made an idiot out of me. It's Charlotte, right? Maybe. Where, uh, where, jokes on me. Where it will be snowing when she goes up there. Oh, and, I <laughs> wish. I wish. Well, I come from California. I'm tired of sunshine. Okay. No well, more. That's a perfect place for you. Good. Michigan. Windy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've shot in Michigan before. I love it. See, perfect. Love it. Well, Siberia, I love that too. Uh, I love. Yeah. I open my window to the listen gulag, to, and it. it makes me oh, smile. Like, you got the accent. I know. Oh, I, sh I should be an activist. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I encourage anybody, everybody, to see her I whenever see, you have an opportunity. Her. Is there a convention in the near future you can promote? There is not. Son of a gun. 2016. What's happening? Son of a yeah. Wow. Promoters, get, get Lana Wood. Yeah, please. Yes, please do. Please. And we'll, you know, and we're not filming. And when she's not I filming. I am starting another film in March. And would you care to tell us what that's about? That is called uh, The Christ Slayer. And it is uh, the third part in a trilogy about the Bible. Okay. And this is a particularly amazing script. It really cool. is. Beautiful, moving. Well, very, very happy. It's good to see that uh, you're staying active with the the industry. You haven't, you know, walked away from it. I know some people do. They came and found you know? me. I wasn't looking. I don't. I still don't have an agent. I still. I don't. You don't have an agent. No. Are you serious? I'm happy with my cats and dogs and my little grandchildren and writing and okay. you know. Still doing it's poetry. Okay, but I love. No, I'm not doing poetry anymore. Mm. Nah, okay. sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to go down. Read the old stuff. It's okay. fine. Well, get her book. Get her material. <laughs> Find that Playboy, 1970. And check 70, out... Yeah, 70? 70, 71. I think it was 70 and then 71 is the was movie. It re really? So the, it helped was the it 70? Are you sure? No, not 100%. I know it was April, and I know that there's a blonde girl in a bathtub on the cover. That'll, that's enough. For there the you go. There Start you go. looking. Look and, the, and if you are one of the few who has not seen Diamonds... Forever, you got to see. You got to see. Diamonds are forever. That's great fun. You can check her out. All right. Thank you for being on the Riley and Kimmy show. Thank you. No Riley and Kimmy. Hello, Kimmy. She's very quiet. Good girl. Keep her.